me. Masjid doesn't have al. Rasul doesn't have al. But the last mudaf ilahi has al. Because that mudaf ilahi will, is not going to become mudaf again. So you at the end, you have the final definite noun. Shall I repeat again? Masjid doesn't have al. Rasul doesn't have al. But the Allah has al. Why Allah has al? Because that is the end of our chain. Nothing going further. If there was something further, then even that noun will also be without al. Are you with me? So, because this is definite, Sister Abhi, this is definite. And because this is definite, then are we doing algebra here? Yes. <laughs> See, it's like mathematics. Huh? Okay, now I give you a sentence. Huh? And, and page number, did you say 14, 15? 14, 15. You know, there are many beautiful examples of mudaf, mudafili. And you should do it. Uh, try to analyze them. Huh? In a simple way, you know, mudaf, mudafili, mudaf, mudafili. It will give you extra understanding and practice. Brother, babu. What did I write, brother? Babu Baiti Ibni Khadimi Mudarrisi Maksurun. Okay. What is Babu? I know that. But have the son? Mubtada, mashallah, Zindabad. May Allah bless you. May increase you now. Mubtada. And there it is Mudaf. Where is Mudaf Ilahi? Are you with me, Sister Ambi? Mudafile is Baiti. Then there is something going on. So then it is again Mudaf. And where is Ibni? Mudafile. Again there is something going on. It is Mudaf. And then Khadimi? Mudafile. Again something is going on. Then the Khadimi is Mudaf. And Al Mudarishi, Mudaf. Now Al Mudarishi came at the end. There is no further chain of Mudafile. Last of it became definite. If this is definite, is this definite? Yes. If this is definite, is this definite? Yes. Is this definite? Yes. And then is this definite, Babu? Yes. Everything is definite. Because you see the final mudaf ilahi being definite. Okay. Further? Okay. Now you tell me where is the khabar? Maksurun. So what is the actual sentence, brother? Al-Babu Maksurun. Huh? What is the actual sentence? Al-Babu Maksurun. Darwaza tuta hai, isku samjhane ke liye itana jagda kar diya. Son, now you try to do translation in English using of. The door of the house of the son of the servant of the teacher is broken. Now this is just a, you know, example. We, we won't come across this kind of uh, sentences. Again, say the translation, brother. The door of the house of the son of the servant of the teacher is broken. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now this is just an example. But we will have lots of example coming. So inshallah you will, you will be able to master it. Brother, the, the thing is that this mudaf mudafile concept, one has to do a lot of reading in the book and write. And write so that this concept is fresh in your mind all the time. So we end it here, inshallah. Huh? And you will see page 14, 15, 16 in the handout. Practice. Huh? Okay, now we go, brother. <coughs> we go to pronouns. You know, we were doing mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Okay? Huh? So, kitabu muhammadin. Baitu muhammadin. Kalamu 
Muhammadin. Now if I say his house or house of his, his pain, how do I say, brother? I say, Baituhu, Kalamuhu. Are you with me? So what is happening now? That when the Damir joins a noun, we get Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me, brother? Same way. Huh? <clears throat> Min Muhammadin. Are you with me? Min Muhammadin. Okay? From Muhammad. But we can change Muhammad into pronoun. And what we say? Minhu. Are you with me? What is Minhu? Jarun or Majrur. And you can use 14 pronouns. Huh? In this way. Are you with me, brother? The same way we have Enda. Enda al Mudiri with the headmaster. But I can change al Mudir into who? What will I say? Enda who? What is Enda who? Zarf and Mudafili. So here is the rule, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get. Mudaf mudafili. And when the pronoun joins a preposition, we get jarun wa machrurun. And when the pronoun joins zarf, what do we get? Zarf and mudafili. So here's a little song, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. What did I say? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Yes. Inshallah. One more time. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun when the pronoun joins a zarf. We get zarf and mudafilehi. Inshallah, you remember. Huh? You don't mind my, you know, I want to give you a pill, but I want to give you a sugar coated pill. <laughs> okay? So, when the pronoun joins a noun, what is the result? Yeah. Whether you don't even have to write it, you should you just have to, it will come to you inshallah. Are you? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Good, got it? Now, so we know our pronouns. Huh? And if I write down here, Kitabu uh, Maybe I can even write down Al Kitabu and then now I'm joining you with pronoun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So his book or book of his. How will you say? Kitabuhu. And now we know our fourteen <coughs> pronouns. So we can quickly say them, huh? Kitabuhu, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhum, Kitabuha, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhum, Kitabuka, Kitabukuma, Kitabukum, Kitabuki, Kitabukuma, Kitabukunna, Kitabi, Kitabuna. Everybody must participate. But the more you will say, uh, the understanding will become stronger and you will be able to Think quickly. Are you with me? Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, if I say 
fi kitabi he i won't say fi kitabi who huh? no who became he why fi kitabi he huh? see here is your first jarum wa majrur and then what is our next compound huh? Huh? okay fi harf char kitabi ism majrur wa huwa mudaf and he mudaf in it. but try to say fi kitabi hu say everybody fi kitabi hu how do you, how, how do you, it doesn't sound good huh? you have to use so many muscles of your mouth to say fi kitabi hu huh? so who became he not for any grammar reason but just for phonetic reasons brother are you with me so you will be able to conjugate that also fi kitabi hima fi kitabi him fi kitabi ha fi kitabi hima fi kitabi hinna huh? those five pronouns in the third person huwa huma hum huma hunna they will have a kasra Huh? If there is a kasra before them, huh? or if there is a ya before them with a sukun, fine. Are you with me, brother? And then fi kitabi ka, fi kitabi kuma, fi kitabi kum, fi kitabi ki, fi kitabi kuma, fi kitabi kunna, fi kitabi, and then fi kita bina, fi kita bina, huh? bina. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, same thing will happen. Huh? Even we say, because this comes all the time in the Quran. Huh? What is? What will you say now? Rabbuhu, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhum, Rabbuha, Rabbuhuma. Rabbu Hunna Rabbuka Rabbukuma Rabbukum Rabbuki Rabbukuma Rabbukunna Rabbi and then Rabbuna and we say all the time in the Quran now let us use Min Min Rabbihi Min Rabbihima Min Rabbihim Min Rabbiha Min Rabbihima, Min Rabbihinna, Min Rabbika, Min Rabbikuma, Min Rabbikum, Min Rabbiki, Min Rabbikuma, Min Rabbikunna, Min Rabbi, Min Rabbina. So see, it's very easy, logical, and fascinating. I, I found this whole thing very beautiful and fascinating. Right? Okay, So we have an idea. Huh? Now, if the pronoun joins preposition, what is the result? Charun or Majrur. Are you with me? If the pronoun joins preposition, it becomes Jarun or Majrur. So, here are, I am writing, brothers and sisters. How many? There are on page number, I think, no, I think 17. There, there are, these are the hafjars given, brother. Min, I think, uh, Allah. I am not writing in order. Ela, and then we have Fi, uh, and then we have B. Huh? And then we have an, huh? uh, min, ala, ila, fi, bi, an, huh? li, very important, li. Is there any more? That's it. Huh? Ma is zarf. Huh? We are going to do ma separately. Huh? We have ma and we are practicing in the. Huh? 